There are no Fatui left. Oh, never mind. Enter! Boom! Am I killing them? Yes. Yes, I am. There's nothing left! I just have to get out of here, I guess. Curses! You're not easy to deal with! Editor Jank! What are you doing here? <laughs> exact same lines. Here we're disturbing the base's location so freely, right? Discussing, not disturbing. Jank, you eavesdropped! I was right all along. You're the culprit! Agent Tarot Chart, are you going to start cowing like a crow again? You are right. Indeed, I am the culprit. It was me all along. But I only wanted to help this mor moronic excuse of an agent to sort out the case. It's not like she can just write, that guy called me a crow, so he must be the culprit. <laughs> or something like that in the case files, now can she? You! Hush now, quiet now. <laughs> How about using your brain instead of your temper for once? Surely you must still have a number of questions regarding the case. Such as my motives. Aren't you at least... No, we'll get just kill you. You just wanted all of the cuffs research material, didn't you? And the papers alleged dirt on muscle faking results from back then, eh? <sighs> How could little old me possibly be private of such secrets? Damn it. This is this is a tough, a tough one. Just a moment ago I said, shut up, I'll just kill you. But now that I actually get the chance... If there's something I've learned from all those villain movies is never let them keep talking. Wait! I am the one who took Dr. Thomas's materials, you know? So I learned all about the bases self-destructive system. If you act rashly towards me, then it won't end well. Doesn't matter, you'll still be dead. Traveler, you're the stuff of legends, you're strong. But as for your precious little companions, I can't help but wonder how they might fare in such a massive explosion. We'll deal with it when we get there. It would be better for anyone to just keep on thinking. After all, I'm merely a low-level editor who's going to be dead no matter what he says to try to wiggle his way out of this. You are not getting out of here alive, Editor Jank. Not if I get a sink in the matter. How could that lord me possibly be private? He already did that before! Damn it, why, why are there so many mistakes with the quests in Fontaine? You must have learned about it from Ballard. The dog? It was the dog who came knocking. <laughs> That's when I realized the paper had made a serious error 30 years ago, causing the downfall of a genius scientist. More importantly, isn't it truly a lamentable loss that the scientist's legacy has been buried for so long? It is. Shouldn't the paper apologize? It should. What do you mean? Is exposing what happened really all you're after? Exposing? <laughs> <laughs> the 
there are much there's a much more suitable word judgment people will pass judgment on the newspaper like that it at dr muscle the paper must take responsibility for this even if it was just following orders I am the hero who recently exposed the confrere's fraud. The righteous and valiant Jang. That's how everyone should see me, no? No! You're a sanctimonious scoundrel! You just want uh, the, to profit from all of this. In which way? Could you explain? If the public starts to denounce the paper, editor-in-chief of Razi will be in trouble. You just want the top spot. Mm -hmm. That is actually not such a evil uh, motivation. It happens every day in real life. <laughs> Excellent. Perfect. I must admit, what you imagine isn't completely wrong. So, allow me to fill in a few gaps for you. I've already made a deal with Ballard's supervisor. Ah, the doc has a supervisor. I find Dr. Moss's inheritance for them and then help them take over the Steambird. Ooh, that is not good. We don't want the Fatui have control over the Steambird. Plus, the doc supervisor serves a real VIP, a Harbinger. Which one? None of your business. With a Harbinger's back, Euphrasia won't stand a chance, and the Steambird will be mine. All mine. Jenk, you're just a squaw squawking blackbird? Question mark. With a silver tongue, we won't let you get away with this. I'm sorry. Can you not hear anything yet? It's the self-destructing click, click, click. A ominous sound is echoing through the base. What is that? It's a clock. It's the doomsday clock. How perfect. I, it just takes a little time to get going. <laughs> I, I said it from the beginning. You don't leave William Starking. That's why I was going to attack him. But the game wouldn't really give me a choice in the matter. A big thank you to Dr. Masso for writing the instructions. For giving me the time. Ah. Farewell, little crow. Agent Curve. And you two visitors from afar. Use these last moments to embrace each other. Then rest in peace as you are buried along with the truth. Jenk practically flies out of the entrance. The door closes behind him in a heavy thud. Oh no! So he was the one who took the materials after all. Are we going to be blown to smithereens? Eh, I mean it's not zero. <laughs> Take our way out. Breaking through could lead to an early detonation and could attempt to force the door. That's a lot of conclusions for uh, a machine that's already broken down because of overheat. <laughs> Agent Talochant, don't blame yourself. There's no need to worry. I will sacrifice myself. <laughs> well, seems like you even have a sense of humor. Now tell us what to do. 
please kindly withdraw my core module and place it in the basis control panel. Then I will be able to open the safe lock room. That is correct. And you, Curve, can your car be removed from the control panel afterward? There was this artificial intelligence of a woman in, uh, in this game. Never mind, I'll just have to edit it out, I think. With Samson Jack. In the second Borderlands, Borderlands 2 it was. Where the artificial intelligence had to do a sacrifice and she just wanted to live. I must stay connected to control panel, otherwise the safe room will relock. If only the planet had, s had a little bit more time. I need to replay the game Borderlands 2. It was so sad. Traveler, take Curve's car and throw it away. <laughs> All we need to do is deactivate the self destruction. Please take. Okay, he's stuck in the loop. Can we just reboot him? Get Curve's car. And I grabbed it. Place the car. The car. He is not moving anymore. Da -da -da. The door to the safe room opens with a light shudder. I didn't get the last part. Talocha, don't stand around. Let's hit. Where? Up there. Speak to me once more, lie detector. Did you move? I don't think you moved. <laughs> I have, I have one thing I'd like to try. This is really mean. I can't aim at him. You are safe. Yahoo! I can be so mean sometimes that it's almost disturbing. <laughs> 